a hi in this video i will show you how we can use aws poly services with a python boto 3 module so that we can convert a text uh, into a speech that is human readable speech okay as you see uh, in the in this diagram right where i would be using aws python um, uh, boto 3 module uh, along with um, um, amazon body service right and how we can convert a, a simple uh, uh, text into a readable uh, simple text into uh, a hearable speech okay so this is an api uh, this is the uh, ai service uh, it's a kind of ai service from aws which will convert a text to speech okay that is um, tts that is text to speech okay so let's uh, let me quickly first show you um, uh, in the in the um, in the in the aws console okay so as you see in my screen so currently i'm in a aws console at uh, amazon poly service page right so i'm in the uh, the first tab that is text to speech right that is tts right that is text to speech okay so here this is the service which amazon provides um where through which you can convert a, a, a text okay a input text um text into a readable um uh, into a voice okay text to voice right so uh, it's, i mean the machine will read your uh, text in general yeah that's a that's a, a, a layman's understanding okay so as you see here so this is the uh, aws console based usage okay how you can do that let me quickly show you so i'm currently in the text to speech console so where i am using the engine equal to neural, uh, neural and the language is yeah you have many men, i mean multiple languages right so here i'm using the um, um, in, um, english us okay where voice okay you can choose um, any kind of voice okay it has multiple um, female voices and also multiple uh, male voices okay whichever uh, uh, you are feel too comfortable you can use okay so let's use kevin uh, male um, here okay and as you see here so engine i have chosen is neural one okay so let uh, so there are two types of engine for uh, to to serve this request okay one is neural another one is standard okay it, it these has its own implications which you can explore from the um, aws um, um, documents okay so as of now so this is just an exemplary uh, uh, input text okay uh, where uh, but the voice will come out or come out or come out and it will automatically read the sentence okay let me show you that okay so let, now um now let's let's listen okay so how this um um this sentence will be read by this Hello. yeah my name is kevin yeah i will read any text you type here yeah so that's what right so as you heard here that automatically um, um the amazon poly services is is reading this test okay so now to make it uh, uh, more um, comfortable okay let's say uh, this is um, cq right cq poc uh, video right let's see let's see how it reads now okay just uh, just for uh, just this for cock video yeah, so this is CQ POC video. It has read that like CQ Pass, okay? Yeah, CQ Park videos, yeah, something like that, yeah. So let me make um some Junan statement, okay? Today is Sunday, something like that, yeah. Today is um today is holiday, yeah. That's a simple statement. Yeah, let's see how it reads. today is holiday yeah so that's how so now you have understood like how you can use the amazon poly services from the portal but now let's say there are um, application side okay like how we can use amazon um aws uh, python boto 3 module to convert um, a text into a speech or vice okay so so for that purpose i have written uh, uh, code okay this is the um a template given from the aws itself which i have tried in my laptop and i'm just de demoing that okay so this is nothing new but it's it's, it's given from the uh, aws side which i'm uh, doing the stuffs you and, and learning right so and i'm also sharing the here that the same yeah so let's see how we can use the same service from the python yeah that is uh, aws uh, python boto 3 module okay so as you see in the screen so there are n number of there are multiple numbers of uh, modules been imported uh, which so uh, which are needed for this uh, demo purpose okay first one i am importing the boto3 model uh, in that one again i am specially uh, invoking the or importing the session model within the boto3 right again i am just uh, uh, importing the further required uh, uh, boto core error and and client errors okay which i need to handle the uh, errors so i need these modules to handle the uh, error okay so that's the reason these uh, modules are being imported next one um 
context library yeah so where i'm importing the closing um, a function or closing module within it further to that we are importing os sys sub process and template file okay so and in that one uh, get temp directory okay so that we are using these many modules in my program okay in this particular program file okay so now let me quickly walk you through this code i will explain you how i used it okay so before you use this code you should be logged in um, into the um, into the aws session using the aws um, um, aws uh, uh, configure uh, command okay which is nothing but aws um, um, command to log into uh, aws cli okay so let me do that um, here so what i am doing is i am setting the context of aws nothing but my aws account using aws cli okay so that python will under the hood python will use the same uh, profiles to run this code okay so this is the preliminary task so for a note okay for your note now let's go to the next code that is where i am i am setting a client okay i'm setting the client as as the poly services that is um, amazon poly services okay which is stored in a variable now yeah. as you see here i'm just using the module that is boto3 so under that one i am setting a client okay nothing but i'm using the nothing but i'm using the client uh, api where uh, poly is the service uh, uh, to be uh, set as a client okay then um, in, in this variable i am further further i'm using that variable for to consume the all poly related all poly uh, related apis okay so under the poly we have one api called synthesize speech okay the synthesize speech is the api from the boto3 module which will convert a, a given input text um, sentence into um, hearable voice okay that is text to speech yeah so here uh, uh, parameters are text okay nothing but this is where actually i provide the text all right and the output is uh, output format right so voice formats of output right so you might be knowing that the voice form or voice formats are like mp3 mp4 right right etc etc yeah so then the voice id as as i showed you in this um, um in this drop down there are n number of voice right so in that one i am using jona on okay yeah then after that i'm just doing the error handling because as as the i'm i'm, I'm doing that i'm invoking that api uh, in the try block and in the ex, uh, except okay um errors are been uh, handled by this particular block okay where i'm using the except yeah where boto core uh, errors and also client errors as the errors print those error and end the uh, the program um uh, very um, smoothly okay that's what it says okay and finally as as we are done with in the try right where the response will be stored in this variable further what i am doing is out of this response i just wanted to stream out the audios nothing but the audio of the particular text is is stored in a variable and that i want to bring it out and put it into a, a, a application which can read that nothing but our media players uh, which is present in the system will read that read those binaries okay so now let me quickly walk you through this like how we can access the uh, audio stream from the response okay so again it's again if 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 the response contains audio stream then i'm using the closing okay i'm using the closing right i'm using the closing um, 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 program I'm, I'm using the closing function where um, in that one i'm just extracting the um, audio stream as the stream okay as a small as a small stream yeah now after that the i'm capturing the output okay as you see here i'm using the os module in that one path then the join okay nothing but um, getting the uh, temporary directory nothing but current user uh, temporary directory okay so with the uh, the current user is nothing but the current laptop users temporary directory will be retrieved where a file with the name called speech.mp3 will be stored okay i will show you that file right once i run this program which will get generated automatically and that file gets read okay by the our media players of the system yeah and finally i'm using the try okay try to open that file right with the with 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 condition just opening that file that is uh, nothing but we open that file with the output nothing but the read this uh, speech um, uh, nothing but read this uh, speech.mp3 file okay as a file and where the uh, file is being written okay written um, okay so what is nothing but so here we are creating the uh, we are we are gathering the output uh, output in the format of mp3 uh, mp3 uh, speech.mp3 in the in the in the variable output right and the same file is 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 uh, written in a particular path okay that's what it, this does okay yeah 
then um, uh, then again i am i am also ha adding the um, right so they have also added um, uh, the exceptions okay let's say some something exception happens here do while doing these jobs okay so these are all the standard uh, 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 standard syntax being given from the aws we are supposed to follow the same one, okay if you are if you want to try something else yeah you need to follow the the other standard as well okay as of now this has been tested from the aws and we should be using this okay that's the reason uh, i'm just using the whatever uh, aws documents suggest us okay and then um, then this the, then the exceptions are been handled uh, as similar like i explained above okay okay and the the other one let's say uh, our response nothing but if the api response does not contains audio stream okay then again also i'm using the error handling okay i'm just telling program to exit gra gracefully okay that's what the system dot exit is nothing but uh, exiting your code very gracefully okay then finally what i'm doing i'm just playing the output being stored in uh, in my temp folder nothing but user temp folder okay so where system dot platform equal to system 32 nothing but it's if it is a windows then os start file nothing but i'm just using the uh, os module that is the python os module where i'm using the function start file where input is uh, given nothing but my mp3 file okay where the output is will be um, uh, will output path will be created by this output variable okay okay so now this is what the uh, code is let's say if it is not a, a windows vm right it can be um, the other vms like mac os or linux os then in that case these codes will come in picture and it will open the respective file nothing but respective output file okay so let's uh, uh, let's go to the uh, uh, the above code so let me make some some meaningful comment okay let's see let's uh, let's read this uh, sentence okay which i have commented out here yeah and i will show you that the uh, this code also um, reads this um, right so what we are doing is we are writing we are we are hard coding the particular sentence which we want amazon poly uh, to run it uh, to read it okay via boto3 uh, i mean um, aws boto3 module okay so now i have added the uh, sentence let's let's run this code and see if amazon poly service can read this sentence in the format of vice nothing but speech yeah so i'm just run i'm just i have ran this code uh, by using the run button right um, it should what it does is it will store the um, mp3 file and in my uh, temporary path and it will invoke the uh, my uh, default media player that is windows media player and, and it will play um, the mp3 file okay which will read which will contains this vice okay this statement okay as you see here it has opened okay and it will automatically read it okay for the first time it will take some Open delay. file for writing the output as a binary stream yeah so that's what so this um, a particular file has been read now okay so now let me go and show you that where the file is all about okay so let me open the file uh, yeah. so here it speech.mp3 file is been stored here so let's go to the properties and see yeah, where the file is been stored so the file is been stored in this path okay let me go to this path and i will show you that the speech.mp3 file is been stored there yeah right so it should be uh, down um, speech dot mp3 file okay here you go um, um, so it is under my user and the app data local and temp okay so in that folder this particular code will will store the mp3 file and from there we are invoking the that file using media player okay so let me do it one more time and this time i will read some something else okay i will i will try to convert the text of something else into vice okay so let's use this sentence to now i will i will save this code and i mean let me run this code again what it does is it will again read the same sentence okay access the, the audio stream from the response correct so it has read the um, uh, text and and converted that into a uh, voice and it has uh, read it exactly and accurately yeah so that's it this is a just a, a, a overview i uh, just a, a, a get started demo of how you can use amazon uh, poly 3 uh, amazon poly um, services um, and also how you can use that amazon poly services in the aws uh, boto 3 module okay yeah so that's it i have showed you the required demo uh, thanks a lot for watching my videos Kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot okay with that note thank you thanks a lot